Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's question is find the town size. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We solve a lot of interview questions on this channel and that can definitely help you with your interview. The question says in a town there are n people labeled from 1 to n. There is a rumor that one of these people is secretly the town size. And if the town size exists, then the town size trusts nobody and everybody except the town size trusts the town size. And there is exactly one person that satisfies the properties. An array of pairs trust i is equal to a and b, representing that the person labeled a trusts the person labeled b. And if the town size exists, can be identified. Return the label of the town size, otherwise written minus 1. And we are given with some examples. So let's move on to pen and paper. Let's see example over there. And let's see how we can solve this question. After that, we will see the code. I have taken several examples including the examples given in the question and the question is asking that we need to find whether the judge exists or not if the town judge exists we need to tell who is the town judge we are given with certain rules and the rules are everyone trusts town judge but but town judge does not trust anyone before we dive into the question let's make a simple graph and let's understand how things are working so we are given with five people one two three four and five and we can say we are again with a b that means person of label a trusts the person of label b that means one trust three two trust three four trust three four trust one 5 trust 3, 5 trust 1, 5 trust 4 and we can clearly see that everyone trusts the one person and this person does not trust anyone that means this person is the town just. Let's see it other examples. So we are going with two people, one and two, one trust two. So everyone other than just trust the just. So two is the town just. If you look at this example, we are going with one, two and three. One trust three, two trust three. And 3 trust 1. Other two people are trusting 3. That is okay. But we are also given with the condition that just does not trust anyone. In this case, 3 is also trusting 1. So we will simply return minus 1. If you look at this example, we are given with 1, 2, and 3. 1 trust 2 and 2 trust 3. In this case, we are not satisfying any of the conditions. And if you look through all these examples, there is one thing common. That if we have five people, that if we have five people, we at least have n minus one edges. You can see in every single example. Or you can say if this is n. If you look at here, the n is 2 and we at least have 1 as n minus 1. Again, here also you can see we have more than n minus 1 as is. And same goes on here. Because if I say we have 3 people and we just have 1 as. In this case, we can never satisfy our both of the conditions. Because we at least need two edges to make the answer true so so we find our first edge case and the edge case is that if that if length of trust well these are the whole edges we are given with is less than n minus 1 we will simply gonna return true and n is the number of people or number of person 
So now look at how we can solve this. As we can see at this scenario, what we are doing, what we are checking, we are checking how many persons are coming in. If we have five people and four are coming in, that means if we count one, two, three, and four. So if we have n, if n minus one are coming in and nothing is going out, that means that very person is the dumb just. So we will implement this very thing. And how we can implement that? So let's take an example and let's see it through the steps. So I'm taking an example. One, three, one, four, two, three, two, four, and four, three, where n is equal to four. First of all, we will check whether the length is less than n minus 1 or not. If that is the case, we will simply return minus 1. Else, we will make two arrays. One is in, one is out. n is 4. How many edges are coming to me? Or how many person trust a single person? And out, that a particular person is trusting how many people? And initially, the array will be of length n plus 1 and it will be containing all zeros. And let me write down the index. And this index will gonna be our persons. And the rule is, whenever a person is trusting someone, I will increase the value by 1 in in and whenever a person is trusted by someone I will gonna increase the value in the out by 1 so let's check so we are here 1 is trusting 1 is trusting so I will increase the value of 1 here and it trusting 3 so I will increase the value of 3. Again, 1 is trusting. Okay, I will increase the value. And it trusting 4. I will increase the value. Now 2 is trusting. Okay. And it trusting 3. So I will increase the value. 2 is trusting. Okay, I will increase the value. And it trusting 4. I will increase the value. Now 4 is trusting and it trusting 3. And we have seen this thing here that n minus 1 people need to be trusted you. And you should not trust anyone to be the term just. So what we can do here? So we can check that if out which means trusted is equal to n minus 1 that means trusted by n minus 1 people and you are not trusting anyone that means n is 0 then I will return the index and if we check these conditions so this one is satisfying so this one is satisfying our situation that out is 3 n is 0 and the index is 3 so 3 is our down just and let's see it with the graph. So we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1 is trusting 3, 1 is trusting 4, 2 is trusting 3, 2 is trusting 4, and 4 is trusting 3. We can see n minus 1 people are trusting 3. And 3 is not trusting anyone. So 3 is the down just. So this is the one way we will maintain two arrays, one with in and one with out. But we can also solve this question using single array. And how that single array will work that I will make an array 
with containing zeros whenever something is coming in that means whenever is something trusting me i'm increase the value by 1 and when i'm trusting someone else i will reduce the value by 1 so what i'm saying let me repeat it again i will make a single array of length n plus 1 and i will increase the value by 1 whenever someone is trusted i will decrease the value by 1 whenever particular person is trusting someone else so let do it with the example so let me write down the index 0 0 1 2 3 4 so i can see one is trusting so i will reduce the value of one and it is trusting three so i will increase the value of three by one now i came to this one and one is trusting so i will again decrease the value by one and four is getting trusted so i will increase the value of four by one again come to this one two is trusting so i will decrease the value by one and three is getting trusted so i will increase the value of three by one i'll come to two and four two is trusting again i will decrease the value by one and four is getting trusted so i will increase the value by one and now i come to this four is trusting so i'll decrease the value by one and three is getting trusted so i will increase the value by one and now i will check if i am getting trusted by n minus one people then that person is the down just else i will return minus one and we can see here 3 is the answer and we have also proven this thing here. So this is the way we can solve this question. These are the main two ways. And let's move on to the coding part and let's see the code for both of these ways. So let's look at the code. If you look at line number 4, I am taking care of the edge case. If length of trust is less than n minus 1, we are simply returning minus 1. Because in that case, we are sure that there can be no terms just. And I'm making two arrays in degree and out degree. I'm filling them with zero and the length of array is n plus one. And I'm taking a for loop in trust. In out degree, I'm adding plus one whenever something is going out. And same with in degree, I'm adding plus one whenever something is coming in. And then I'm looping through it and I'm checking if in degree is equal to n minus 1 and the out degree is 0. That means that everybody trusts a single person and that very person does not trust anyone. Then I am simply returning i. Else I am returning minus 1. So this was the solution when we are using two arrays. And let's see whether it works or not. So here I submitted my code and it got accepted. Now let's look at the solution using single array so let me comment it out so if you look at line number 20 again i'm checking if the length is less than n minus 1 i'm simply returning minus 1 then i'm making a trust score which is again a single array of length n minus 1 and we have zero in it then i'm taking a for loop in trust whenever something is going out i'm reducing the value by 1 and whenever something is coming in, I am increasing the value by 1. And at the end, I am checking if the value is equal to n minus 1. That means if we have 4 people, 3 people are exactly trusting someone. And that means if the score is equal to n minus 1, I am returning i. Else, I am returning minus 1. So this was the solution using single array. Let's check whether it works or not. So here I submitted my code 
and it got accepted so these were the two solutions for this question if this video was helpful to you please give it a thumbs up thank you so much guys for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe